Oh, that's me. We're back. <laughs> I'm doodling, Dr. Lori. <laughs> okay. Andy, Dr. 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 Lori, look at a few more. I'm playing with my American version of the Legos. My parents couldn't afford Legos, so we had lock blocks. They lock like blocks. American version. It's they still all look the like same. fun. Yeah, it's they still the look like work. fun. They work. <laughs> all right, so we're starting this segment with a picture of a croc sent in by Jerry. So tell us about this, Dr. Lori. So this is a stoneware oh. ceramic croc, and you'll notice that it, in fact, is a Greensboro uh, croc from Greensboro, Pennsylvania. Uh, 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 Hamilton Jones, you can see, of course, the stenciling on it. Uh, three relates to, of course, how big it is, you know, how many gallons it actually holds, and two handles make it unusual. Oh. So the two-handle croc, um, it's a nice form. Um, and it's a gray and black uh, combination color, which indicates that it is older than most. Oh, Ooh. okay. All right, yeah. two handles oh, and yeah. older than most. And this, to yeah. me, Dr. Lori, looks like something people collect. Like, I've gone into people's yeah. homes and see sort of a whole theme of this sort of stuff, right? Yes, yes. It was very, very popular in the late 90s into the early 2000s. It's waned some. However, they look for... Uh, elements like the two handles. They look for a uh, cobalt glaze that this has. They look for particular makers and always the place. So if you can get something that's a, from a place near you, that's what people tend to look for. So this one from mm. Greensboro. All right. Did mm. you make your guess? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm leery of guessing this much. Do it. Okay. I said 250. <laughs> I said 175. 200. <laughs> Oh, so there you go. You get the point. Right. You're closer. Again. It I... takes math slows us down a little That's bit, Dr. Lori. We just need a we just <laughs> need a beat. Me. We just need <laughs> right. a beat. That's all. Okay, up next, Maryland sent an Asian garden vases. It says plural here. Do we have two? Oh, we do have two. Yep, you have a pair of Asian ceramic garden vases, and they have those little dragons on the top, which are very, very cute. But you don't want cute dragons with Asian culture. You want fierce dragons. So they're a little mm. cute for me. Uh, okay, they are, cute. of course, the geisha, the geisha girls, and they are, they are, of course, Asian. Specifically, they're Japanese, not Chinese. Now, I'm sorry, did you Southeast. say at the, at the beginning, did these come from Japan? Were they made there, or are they made yes. here? Okay. Yes, made in Japan. Okay. Uh, rare, or is this something that there are a lot of? A lot of garden vases out there. There are a lot of them out there like these. Hmm. And again, you want fierce dragons, not cute dragons. Not dragons. cute dragons. Oh, so okay. that wasn't just an opinion. That's an actual, like, no. if you're looking for a it. A way to appraise it. Okay. My whole life is not, an, well, I have a lot of opinions, but no, yeah, that's <laughs> what it is. <laughs> <laughs> we See, love you, Dr. Lori. <laughs> I just watched the movie Raya this summer, and Raya, they're oh. friendly dragons, and so, you know, they're good. But different different kinds. Yeah, so this is for the set of different. them. That's what we're guessing. Yeah. So a go ahead, go ahead, Heather. I went $100. I went $70. $125 for the pair. <gasps> oh, I think we know who's going to win this. All right, we have one last item, uh, and it is a chair from Michael. So tell us about this chair, Dr. Lori. This is a 1940s upholstered and wood chair. It's a child chair and a recliner. Michael said that this had been in his family and he was excited to share it with everybody on PTL. But it's, it looks big here, but it's a child-sized chair. Hmm. And it's yeah, it's hard to judge that. That's interesting to know to yeah. note that because it looks in that picture without anything to compare it to, like an adult chair. So has it been yeah. reupholstered? Yeah. Does it look that way? No, I think that's the original upholstery, actually. Oh, okay. Now, with this yeah, fall these, in... These people were clean. I mean, this is seriously clean. Yeah, for clean. a child's chair? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh, yeah. I should show yeah. you some of the kids' chairs. <laughs> <laughs> now, would this fall into, like, people are way into mid-century modern, or is this a little before that? Well, I mean, mid-century modern isn't, oh, it's only at 1950. It's usually about 10 years before and about 10 years after. Oh, okay. So, you know, from the 40s to the 60s, even into the, the some put it into the 70s, but I don't as a purist. I, I wrote but, down yeah. my guess. Furniture is hard. I just, and it's a child's yeah, chair. Yeah, furniture's hard. All right, well, I already know you have won this. So, yeah. you know what? I am just going to. I'm just going to guess. Just, yeah, just I'm guess. I'm just going to guess. That's how we do this. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. That's how 200. We do this. <laughs> I said 50 bucks. $175. Oh, oh, I get the point. David I tightened it point. up. At least you tightened it up. <laughs> tightened it That's up. A little bit more respectable. <laughs> All right, as always, we love talking to you. We learned so much from you, Dr. Lori. Now get back Thank to your you building. Thank you so much. Get building, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so much fun. Legos are so much fun. Or what did you call them, Dr. Lori? 
Well, these are lock blocks. Lock these blocks. Are the cheaper version. Yeah. Lock <laughs> blocks. All right, we learned something else. Thanks, Doctor. Well, and thanks to everyone of you for sending us your photos, and maybe yours will be chosen for a future episode with Dr. Lori. I like how you just called her Doctor there at the end. Yeah, well, Still she is Doctor. <laughs>